YouTube, what's up, man? I got a great gameplay for you guys. I know I've been gone, man. We had Dallas. We had the Man Classic. I was down in Dallas for that. After that, I went to Ohio and I spent a couple days in Ohio. I am back. Didn't play Weekend League this weekend. I had a Madden tournament, the Eagles game. I'm hosting Madden tournaments every home Eagles game. So follow me on the social media. You can find those links below, man, to stay up to date with those. So if you're an Eagles fan, you go to the games every Sunday at the Eagles game. We are going to head and host the Madden tournament. We gave away $1,000 this opening weekend. So it's going to be every home Eagles game is going to be a big deal. Also, man, if you want any of the offense or the defense that you have seen in these videos, please check out manturf.com. Man. But let me show you my team before we get into this video, man. What my team is looking like now. It was an expensive weekend for me. I don't know about you guys, but Michael Vick, uh, welcome back to the helm. Welcome back to Madden. Three million coin player right there, Michael Vick. Let's see what I got. I have Sprinter. I use Go Deep, so he has 91 speed, 95 throw power. That, that's pretty much all that matters. Obviously, Escape Artist. Um, I think Evasive Anchor and uh, what is it? Fearless Scrambler, Gutsy Scrambler. Uh, the three wide receivers I want to use are Odell Beckham. Deshaun Jackson, Tory Holt, Marvin Harrison. Also have Tor also also had Tyreek Hill. You see, we got we got the big dick Bo Jackson right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we also have Marcus Allen, offensive line Lane Johnson, the best in the game. Um, Jordan Gross, Matthews, Burke, and Zach Martin. I don't really use my tight ends too much, uh, but I have Kittle and Walker if I need them, mostly for run blocking. Defensive side of the ball. We have Shazier. I have the power up P. Willie. I don't have the real P. Willie. That's my next purchase unless something else crazy comes out. Uh, we got Ken Houston. We have Amos, Jalen Ramsey, Mel Blunt, Tillman, Willie Brown, Pat P. And, and of course, had to get him. He don't have a face right now. I don't know why. But Brian Dawkins. Had to get him a million coin player. 90 speed, 92 hit power, 92 zone. I actually have him as my X factor just because... I mean, it was Brian Dawkins. He has zoned out, tip drone acrobat, got him over here. Uh, so for me, that's what I wanted to use, just put Brian Dawkins there. I don't really love uh, that ability. Like I said, tip drill, acrobat, and zoned out. Really not noticing that ability too much. But uh, let's see what he's going to do in this game. I mean, uh, we need my defense to make some plays. I know you guys are trying to tackle Bo Jackson, trying to tackle Marcus Allen, whoever it may be. You need those guys to make some plays. So this is essentially the team that I want to use in this game. So let's get into that gameplay now. This just a regular season game. Regular old rinky-dink mutt head-to-head, -head, man. That's why you guys watch. I have a lot of fun playing this. Uh, I like playing with a team. I mean, salary cap is great, and we're probably going to start that this week. But start in the game like that, it's never a good thing. I know you guys didn't expect that. I never expect it. The one thing about the RB button, man, you guys see a lot of people holding that RB button and running with it. You can't get hit stick fumbled, but boy, they can still strip the, the football out of your hands. That's what they did to Pat Pete. Always fun starting 7-0. I know it's happened to you guys. It's happened for you guys, too, as Michael Vick overthrows something. Get tons of pressure from his edge threat right there. Don't have the secure pass blockers. I said my, my uh, X factors on offense are Vick, Bo Jackson, and Marvin Harrison. Marvin Harrison is going to come into play. Uh, Michael Vick's going to come into play as we try to hit a bomb right here. Just not enough time. Really didn't think it was that open. Get to a second and 17. Laser right there to Marvin. Can't risk another fumble. Uh, as much as that fumble sucked, uh, there are ways to avoid the fumbles. Uh, one thing that I always hate, and you guys can comment below if you hate it too, I hate how much the computer hit stick fumbles me, man. That's brutal. Happens all the time, man. And kids don't really need to do anything. Just buy the right cards and it'll give you a hit stick fumble. Throw the laser over there, Tory Hole. Let's see, this is a tight formation, but I get four wide receivers in it. As we take off with Michael Vick, no, I got my blockers out there. Little makeshift quarterback draw. Take it to the Baja. That's why we paid three million coins. Although I think Steve Young would have made it there. Steve Young would have made that in the end zone. Uh, but like I said, I use use this tight offset. Use four wide receivers. So if you're interested in using learning how to use this tight offset with four wide receivers. Hit that link to man so if you can get my New Orleans Saints offense it is out now as he throws this corner route, but Lawrence Taylor gets in there, breaks it up, get it incomplete there. So this guy got a free seven points to start the game as he throws a dot over there to Julio. Julio slow, but he's still, I mean, he's still a big body, hard to hit stick, bounced off the hit stick right there and bouncing around his Bo Jackson for a nice little two-yard gain. That time we blow up the run, P. Willie in the backfield, get him to a third and long, and we're going to come just bring the crib 
right at him, man. Like I said, manturf.com. Offense, defense, special teams. If you want to get better at the game, check it out. Also, man, you guys can watch these games live. I, they are streamed on Twitch. And for my, sub stream, for my subs on Twitch, every Wednesday I have a stream where I help you guys out. Help you guys lab. Help you guys get better at the game. And that's pretty much my biggest sub benefit. So if you want to check it out on Twitch, check out the subs. Check out the, the ability to get better at Madden. You can do that as I dump the ball out here to Deshaun Jackson, who had a huge game in week one against the Washington Redskins, man. Just when you thought the Eagles, it was looking dark for the Eagles, as somebody's calling my phone. But it was looking dark for the Eagles. But then Deshaun Jackson popped up for two touchdowns. Huge game for him, man. It's looking like him and Wentz are going to have a huge season. Laser right there to Beckham Jr. Let me know how your guys' team did. I mean, obviously the Eagles, I was at the game. It was looking a little bleak at first. But then d and Wentz just took over the game. So let me know how your team did week one. Uh, let me know if you're 0-1, 1-0, or if you're a Lions or a Cardinals fan and you're tied, which is just brutal to be a Lions or Cardinals fan to begin with. But you're tied anyway as Patrick Peterson, speaking of Cardinals, bags that corner route. Get him to a third and 13. We get another sack. I mean, this guy, I know you guys play him across Madden sometimes, man. You guys, these guys, sometimes you just play somebody that doesn't deserve to be in the game with you, but their computer just kills you. And another fumble to the crib. You know, there's somebody you're just looking like, man, this guy doesn't deserve to be in the game with me. I'm so much better than this guy. And the man is just giving him two touchdowns, but that's okay. Because, listen, there's more fun like this. Sometimes you got to see how you're going to respond to adversity. And as we dump the ball off there to Marvin Harrison, he catches it like he just shit his pants and doesn't get the first down right there. Only gets nine yards on a wide open drag. Looking for the deep seam right there. Might have had it. Didn't like the pressure I was under. Michael Vick can get out. Get a couple yards with his legs that he's done his whole career. Nice block by Bo Jackson there. Picking up the guy off the edge. And Marvin Harrison to the Baja he blew a coverage right there, kind of how the Washington Redskins were blowing coverages on Deshaun Jackson. Same thing. So we're back up 21-14. Everything's good. This guy, he can't score a lick, man. You ever play somebody? You, I mean, you guys know this guy can't score. All I got to do is just keep keep playing basic, keep playing simple. He's not going to score on me. Throws the laser over there. Once again, with Julio Jones bouncing off hit sticks, man. That's that's okay. You know, next play throws the screen. Oh, of course, everybody's getting blocked. Perfect. Ken Houston trips over somebody. Pat Pete trips over somebody. Jalen Ramsey. I like the players that hustle, man. Jalen Ramsey, Pat Pete, man. These guys hustle. But we give up that field goal. I mean, it sucks to give up points like that. But it's 21-17. We're feeling good. No big deal out here. We can handle this. This guy hasn't scored anything but that screen pass. Nice little run. Von Miller's not playing around. Next play, second and 10. We get a sack. He's going to come out and bunch quads, I believe. It really looks easy. He quick snaps it. I'm on Houston. Run down. Throw right at me. Do that. Ah, and I miss a hit stick and Kittle's gone. You know, it's just little things that happen in this game we call Madden. Uh, it's fun. I'm like I said, he goes for two for some reason. Throws right at, like that's just an example of me expecting him to go somewhere else. Throws right at me. Gets the for some reason this guy when he could have kicked the field goal and went up three, he went for two. He trusted his two point calls. I get sacked here. Marvin Harrison has doubled me. That's why I got sacked. Going for the big play there. Marvin Harrison has doubled me. And if you guys know. Double me is an automatic aggressive catch like Madden 16. So I got to keep that in the back of my mind. I'm 10 for 11 passing right now. Got to hit a pass here to Marvin Harrison. The thing about double me is you don't, if you throw three passes and don't target him, he'll disappear with it. So next play is going to run a little cover for it. You know, I'm going up top to Marvin. He's got double me. Get off him. Aggressive. Boom. Doesn't get a touchdown. No, I'm at the seven yard line. I'm down by four. Throw it to Bo and Reggie White just baptized me. Now, this is my fault because the next time I want to go ahead and computer hit stick Patrick Willis and another one to the Baja. I wish you guys were watching this game live to experience my reaction, to enjoy it with me. Three fumbles to the crib, all computer hit sticks. Uh, but that one's my fault because I took a huge hit stick from Reggie White. Could have put Marcus Allen in, could have put Saquon in, stayed with Bo Jackson, back to bat hit sticks. That one went to the crib. Still got double me activated. Laser over here to Odell Beckham Jr. So speaking of Odell, the Browns did not look very good there on opening day, huh, boys? I know it's a couple of you guys are Browns fans. Did not look very good. Dump it off to Marvin. He still has the double me. 
He's looking for the double me again. He actually guards it, trying to go up top. Look at the throw by Vic, and he drops a pick. But that's okay. Listen, when your opponent drops a pick, man, it's part of the game, you know, right? You know, you got to respect it. You know, sometimes it's okay to drop picks. Drop picks are cool. Next play, double me. I get locked in on it, and I get sacked. Get to a fourth down. Need to draw up a dot here. No, I have double me. If he leaves this one-on-one, I'm chucking it. If not, I'll put Odell on his curl underneath. I still have the corner route on the right. Just got to make a read. He blitzes over the middle. Just hit this corner route. Get my first down. Odell Beckham Jr., First of many big plays for me. I'm trying to hit this double me in for that. And he drops it. Double me. I felt like that was one-on-one. Tell me in the comments. Was that one-on-one? I felt like it was one-on-one. Next play, laser. Odell Beckham getting the score a little bit closer. We got to go for two here. Throw this little delayed hitch right there. Bang to, old, to uh, Deshaun Jackson. Now I'm going to need that play later. Remember that I ran that play. Sometimes when you have a cute two-point play, you don't want to shoot your load early and show it too early in the game. But I needed that two-point conversion to make it a three-point game. Have to get the ball back here. Have to stop the run. That's exactly what Shazier does to Bo Jackson right there. Stretch off to the left. And I miss a hit stick with Dawkins. Uh, he stays in bounds. Holds RB. I'm gonna, uh, I don't think I use my timeout. Ne- next play, everybody comes off the edge. Good job by Lawrence Taylor. Going to use my timeout. Got to try to extend the game right here. This is the set of downs. Throws his laser. Brian Dawkins pick. No, Jerry Rice caught it. Stays in bounds. I'm going to use another timeout. Got to stop him here. Can't give up another first down. I'm already down by three. A first down this game is over. It's already looking bleak. Shazier in the backfield tackles him. I'm going to let this go to the two-minute warning. Next play, stretch. Bang. Getting off the block there. P. Willie. Looks like Fletcher Cox. Use that timeout. Third down, he play, He runs the ball. Plays it really safe. Runs all this clock off. I got a minute and 19 seconds left. No timeouts because I don't need them. We're down by six. We need a touchdown, man. I tell you guys all the time, this is why you watch. This is why you tune in. Got to try to make a play, man. Now, you guys know that there's there's not runoff in, in mutt like there is in regs. In regs, this would be really hard. In mutt, this is, I mean, it's still hard to get a touchdown with no timeouts, pause. But, you know, I'm looking for the bomb the first play. I want to take off with Vic, and immediately I'm getting to the sideline. I don't care about extra yards. I just want the clock stop. The clock is more important than the yardage on this game, and you'll see that on the next play. As once again, I take off, and I'm just going to go backwards. I'm not going to try to make somebody miss. I just want to get out of bounds. Let's catch our breath, let the clock run, or let the clock stop. You know, as I go ahead, he boxes me here. I saw this really late, heavy pressure, and mm, Vic overthrows it. Next play, third and 12. Hit the laser over the middle to Odell Beckham. So that's what I'm saying. If I would have got tackled, we would have been around 30 seconds right now. Sometimes... You know, those plays where you go out of bounds are more important than getting yards. Right there, we get 10 yards. There's 30 seconds, though. The clock is running. I'm telling myself, I just need a sideline pass. I need a sideline pass. I don't care. I need to get out of bounds or throw incomplete. The thing here that a lot of people do, I'm doing no hot routes, no audibles, no nothing. We're just snapping the ball, and we're going. Boom. He blitzes the middle, so he has to guard the middle. Gives up the flat pass to Allen. Get 12 yards. Get out of bounds. Stop the clock. 19 seconds left. We're going to try to hit this, fit this corner route for a touchdown or out of bounds. Bang, but Torrey Holt can't hold on. Gilmore, I did like it, though. I'm going to go back to it if he doesn't lurk it. Doesn't lurk it. Throw it to the sideline. Torrey Holt, mm, animation could have been a touchdown, but he gets out of bounds one yard line. Shot my load earlier. He's going to lurk the left. I need to throw back to the right. I showed you guys. I wasted his play on a two-point conversion, so he guards the left. Back to the right side. Marvin Harrison for the game-winning touchdown. Boom. Got to hit this extra point. Surprising, this guy's not even an extra point block, but, you know, we get the lead. Seven seconds. We're going to kick it deep. You know why? Because I coach my team up and tell them they can cover one kick. And, and listen, when I need to cover a kick, I stay on the kicker and let the computer do their job. Uh, don't mess up the lanes. Last play of the game, Vic gets out of the pocket. This guy has Gambler on Vic. He doesn't even have a Bazooka. So that's going to end the game. You see Skimble right there is my coach. Uh, crazy game, man. Fumbled three times to the crib. And sometimes, man, no matter what, no matter who you're playing, <laughs> the game's going to cheat you. And that's kind of what happened there. But I was able to overcome it and keep on fighting and keep on scoring.